Live Your Style. I'm Shara, and today, if you guys have been following along these last few weeks, we have been doing a fun new series on how to decorate your home for Christmas based on your design style. So, so far we've covered the traditional design style, the farmhouse design style, and today we are doing minimalist Scandinavian Christmas design style. I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'm doing it. We have so many new Christmas videos coming out in the next few weeks, so be sure if you guys have not yet hit that subscribe button, click the button and join the Live Your Style family because we have a great time here and we always love new subscribers. And if you guys have not yet thumbs up this video, just go ahead and thumbs it up because I'm telling you you're gonna love it. Today we're gonna go shopping, we're gonna go look for stuff that's Scandinavian and minimalist and Christmassy. If you guys are watching this video, we still have lots more Christmas videos to film. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, I do post the behind the scenes of us filming these videos while we're out shopping and I kind of give you a sneak peek at some of the products so you can get them sooner before they sell out. So if you haven't followed me on Instagram, be sure to do that and let's get started. These are so cute. Number one, look for a more monochrome palette. You wanna stay away from the traditional red, green, gold, and you wanna go with more of a neutral color palette. So you can still feel festive and get in that festive mood. You guys can find Christmas items, but just make sure that you're looking more in that muted color palette of like grays or whites or maybe different shades of cream. Um, and maybe you can step into some gold if you have like different furs or animal figurines. I'm looking at one right now. But you wanna keep it pretty muted, pretty neutral, but festive. Also look at this, you could totally hang this in a kid's room, you could hang this in a gallery wall. Um, I love it because it does, it is two-tone, the white and the raw wood, but um, it still feels Christmassy without being red and green and glittery and you know, crazy. It's that monochromatic color palette, which is great. Number two, look for twig or branch items, especially trees. So if you have a small space and you like this style, you luck out because the Scandinavian, more traditional style does not usually have a really full luscious green tree. You can if you want to. However, looking for twig trees or some of those like, almost like a Charlie Brown Christmas tree is kind of more the look and the style of a Scandinavian Christmas. You can also do frosted. That's white and would stick with that more muted color palette, so that would be kind of fun. Um, but then also looking for ones that are literally just branches. They come, they're lit up, they're pre-lit, like the one that I found here. This one looked so cute, and I've actually had some of these twig trees in some of my other apartments. Like in my old apartment back in the day, I had this cute little corner set up with these twig trees. It was very magical and wintry wonderland. You guys can also decorate with branches and using a lot of birch wood. Birch wood is really big because it's light and it's really organic looking um, and it's very minimalist and still has that Scandinavian vibe. I think it was last year, maybe it was the year before, I actually hung my stockings on a branch, which looked really cute. And I actually have just random sticks of wood that I put next to my fireplace, just kind of like in a little vase. Kind of gives it that earthy tone and it keeps it very Scandinavian. Okay, I love this little globe. Let's see. Oh, I don't think there's a light in it, but this lights up. Um, totally Scandinavian because you've got the wood kind of monochromatic color palette, but you also have a lot of the natural elements that come into it. Same with look at these little ornaments. Little house. And the other thing that's super Scandinavian is this white birch, like this light color birch candle. And this, is, this would be great on like a table or a coffee table. Um, or even on like a mantle. Number three, look for ceramic or lacquered Christmas tree or different figurines. So this element of a Scandinavian minimalist Christmas is really important because they have a lot of like pointy smooth trees and things that have like a little more edge to them as opposed to like really like caricature, identifiable features, if that makes sense. Like there's not a ton of like jolly Santas in the Scandinavian style. So looking for different ceramic Christmas trees or maybe some shapes, a lot of star ornaments or like ceramic figurines. And they are often things you can put like a candle in them. And so it'll kind of have like a little bit of a glow and still feel very holiday-esque and Christmassy without it being bright red and bright green and Christmas, Christmas. Christmas. It stays very muted, very clean, very simple, and very neutral. 
And if you guys find some of those items with a geometric pattern, that's very minimalist and something that you'll see often, but just make sure the color palette is neutral. I love these white ceramic candle holders, votive holders, and these two. They have like little snowflake cutouts. And look at this little white nativity scene. I kinda wanna take this home with me. Look how cute. Number four are wire wreaths or half wreaths. Last year I actually did a DIY on this. I spray painted, it was like a floral ring, and I made a really cool little Scandinavian style wreath where I, you just put some greenery on the bottom, it does not go all the way around, but it just gives kind of that geometric pattern because it's obviously a very defined shape, and then it's very simple and has a lot of neutral colors. It does include some green, but it's very muted and more of that sage color as opposed to like dark, dark green. And it does have a little bit of an element of gold, but it's not shiny gold, it's more of a brass. So that's something you guys can bring in delicately here and there throughout that style. I will link that DIY below if you guys wanna check that out. But it was super fun and really easy and quick. But these do go really great with a minimalist Scandinavian style because they're really cute and fun and very festive, but they're not heavy. They're very light and they kinda of get the point across without having to be overdone. And these are perfect. Um, something that's twiggy and has lights on it. This could be a wreath. And you also have just some branches that you could lay out on a table, you could put them over a doorway, um, you could put them in a mantle, but they're really, really skinny, thin, white, and very minimal in Scandinavian. Number five, natural accents. So that could be whether you're using wood elements throughout like in vases or centerpieces, or it could be in your actual ornaments. I recommend you guys look for natural color wood, nothing too dark a lot of light color wood, a lot of birch wood. Um, you guys can find those wooden ornament like garlands that have lights in them, string lights kind of. You can string those over a mantle or over a doorway or an archway. You can also just find really beautiful kind of like cut out Christmas tree ornaments that are made out of that light colored wood. And even some of those light color wood houses I found some really adorable houses that were so cute and even advent calendar that really kind of showcases that style and it feels very festive, but it still has a very muted color palette. And if it does introduce a color, it's not traditional red and green. It's gonna be a really light green or more of like a brighter color or like a pastel color, but something that's not traditional and kind of a little bit more unique in its Scandinavian style. And this is another great option is finding really beautiful, like I have it in my tree right now, wood, uh, like a ball, little spherical ball garland made out of wood. A lot of wood ornaments that are just really like smooth and round, those are super Scandinavian. And they're really simple and beautiful and easy to make DIYs of, so that's kind of really nice for this style. Just look for stockings that are light colors, like either gray or white, and they have more of a cozy touch to them. Not necessarily faux fur, but maybe more of like a wool or a fabric that looks like a sweater. That's the way to go. See, these funky colors aren't as Scandinavian, but if you do ones that are like natural fibers and colors, like the wool and then a tree is naturally this green, it still fits in that theme and that style. It's just all about the wood. These wood shaped ornaments and then natural wool or even using some felt sometimes, like felt ornaments. I'm sure we'll find some of those here today. Very cute. Any garlands that you guys find that are either wood or a natural fiber, but like a round spherical shape is super Scandi and not scandalous, Scandinavian. This is so cute. I love how it's white on the natural wood. Look at this little scene. It's so precious. Okay guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope that this inspired some of you that have a Scandinavian or simple minimalistic style and showed you some ways that you can implement Christmas into your home this season. Leave me a comment below and let me know if this is your style and maybe there's some other tips that I forgot that you guys love doing in your home. And by the way, one last thing I wanted to point out, I think it was like six months or so ago, it was a long time ago, I told you guys about the laser facial I was getting at Laser Away for clear and brilliant to remove any hyperpigmentation or acne scarring. And and I just, I finished my last treatment. I feel like it was so long ago that, or it was just yesterday that I was thinking, wow, it's gonna be so long when I'm done with my treatments. But it, I'm done. I just had my last one last week. So I love the way that it turned out. I highly recommend it if anyone out there is looking to kind of remove some of those darker spots on their face. If you guys want, you can click the link below. I will link the original video where I kind of discuss all of the details about it, why I'm doing it, all the information. You guys can watch that and I will see you guys next week. Actually next week or in a couple of days or something. On Wednesday, we're gonna be doing another video. So come on back and let's get our Christmas on. Okay, I'll see you next time.
cute. Very Scandinavian.